To many aid organizations, the people in this room are thieves and they're stealing Africa on behalf of Western investors and pension funds. Behind these doors, the discussion is about land as a commodity. Yet the argument is that without them, Africa would never grow and would never be able to grow enough food to feed its own people. So what we consider is that certainly there are risks and uh, governments and also international organizations must invest a lot of efforts to mitigate these risks. But at the same time, that shouldn't lead to throw the baby with the bathwater and to think that international investment is not key to developing the agricultural sector of some developing countries. Land in Africa, often extremely fertile and absurdly cheap, is the current talk of the investment markets. The wealth funds assess issues to do with political volatility, risk of extreme weather, bribery and corruption. Yet things like population growth and urbanization of the poor make buying land increasingly attractive. The question is where in this equation comes any sense of moral duty to look after the people whose land investors may now own. Some of them are behaving responsibly, but a lot of them are, are not uh, doing it. And uh, the biggest scandal is there's pension funds involved here. The first, one of the biggest investors in land are pension funds. That means money that you and I are paying into our pension funds could be used to buy up land in Africa to kick communities off their lands. That's not true anymore, or at least only rarely, say the investors. They're urging people to trust their motives. It, it can't be the quick buck. It can't be the quick return. No, no one's going to go into farming and expect a return in two or three years. There has to be sustainable development as well as looking after the local community. Not looking after so much as working with uh, and, a and creating a genuine win-win situation for all. The real problem with the buy-up of Africa is that there's little oversight except from local governments and the investment funds themselves. They say... The bad days of the land grab are receding and better practices are taking over. Perhaps the best judges of that assessment will be Africans. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in London.